go my tail and go my tail. Come here, mama. Oh, come here, mama. And go my tail and go my tail. Come here, mama. And go my tail. Get me out of this bucket jail. I've been here three months too long. Anyhow. Well, boys, here we are down at the big jail, and she's high, tall, and handsome. A long time before we ever get out, too, I'm afraid. Said a big word then, boy. I say you did. Come on back, boys. I'll introduce you to the rest of the gang. Fresh meat, boys. What does that mean here? Just stick around. You'll find out what it is. Welcome to our jail, boys. You're just in time for kangaroo court. I didn't know they had court in jail. Well, we do, and I'm the judge. The rest of you guys talk when you're talked to. Order in the court. You're charged with breaking in jail, and you're guilty. What's your name? Uh, Clayton McMidgen, my name, sir. Well, Max, you're sentenced to keep all cigarette butts off the floor. Thank you. What's your name? Low Stokes is my name. I find you one dollar and a package of cigarettes. Well, I ain't got no darn cigarettes. I'll give you a pack of this old chewing back if you want to. Wise boy, ain't you? For that crack, give him a couple of licks. Woo! I see all you boys have got instruments. Can you play them? Yes, sir, we can play them a little bit. Let's hear a little then. <laughs> If you boys feel that blue, we'll suspend all sentences. Court dismissed. I'm never going to make another drop of corn longer than I live. I don't ever drink none. Goodbye, Bobby. Come on, boys. The judge is waiting to see you all. Yeah. Won't be long now. Here they are, Your Honor. You're charged with making and transporting liquor over a public highway. Are you guilty? I guess so. They caught us with the liquor. Well, I'm going to be easy on you boys. Going to give you 12 months and $1,000 each. Man, I sure am glad you didn't get hard with us. I thought he's going to be easy with us, boys. Twelve months and a thousand dollars each. Next case. Well, let's get going to camp, boys. Well, on taking this here long, lonesome ride, boys, let's play going down the long, lonesome road. <laughs>
boys certainly can fiddle. It's a shame you have to be in the gang. Hold on, who's this coming? I've got an order from the sheriff to let these men go on parole. The judge says, on account of so many letters coming in to him in regards to the character of these boys and how they miss the skillet liquors at all the big dances, and as it is their first offense, you can get out on probation, provided you promise that you will not try to make or sell any more liquor. What do you think about it? Man, oh, 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 that's good. Good. Goodbye, boo. Take the chains off of these boys. Now you boys go home and remember, don't make any more corn liquor. Well, we're good. I'm good. Done. Say, boys, I got a little snort up here hid in the stump that the warden gave me the other day. Let's go up and drink it up and play. Pass around a bottle and all take a drink. <laughs> Take a drink as we go home.